This is something new. DNA, previously written off as junk DNA, has been found to actually determine genitals at birth. Alex Matthew King reports for the Independent UK. They say that loss of unessential DNA section, which boosts sex determination gene, causes male mice to develop female genitals and ovaries. A small snippet of junk DNA, previously thought not to play any essential role in humans, may be the difference between being born male and female, according to UK researchers. In 1991, scientists made a female mice, mouse develop as a male by inserting the SRI gene, SRY gene, short for sex determining region Y, into the developing embryo, showing a single gene can change and determine our sex. Now, research published in the leading journal Science Magazine shows there is another equally important instruction located in the seemingly unrelated part of our DNA manual, which if removed, results in a genetically male mouse developing female genitals and ovaries. This is a new discovery called Enhancer 13. This section is called Enhancer 13, and it massively boosts the signal from SRI, SRY, to the gonads, which start off as neither male nor female, and ensures they become testes and trigger other male traits. It also has an equivalent in the human genetic code and may help explain why people missing genes in this area may be born with partially formed genitals, one that, uh, ones that do not conform to their gender, researchers said. Quote, it's finely balanced. It needs to go one way or the other, end quote. This is what Professor Robin Lovell Badge, who heads the research team at London's Francis Crick Institute, said uh, that the fir and, uh, uh, he first identified SRI 27 years ago, said the Independent. Quote, SRI is there and it starts the process. Then you immediately get all these mechanisms that reinforce it, like Enhancer 13, end quote. So once the testes have developed they can release testosterone, the male sex hormone, which floods the other bodily tissues and directs them to form the penis, the underpenis, the underpins for, further charges the puberty. Now, if this process is not followed all the way through, it could mean the outward genitals do not fully form and the fetus begins to develop as a female. Only 2% of the 3 billion points of human DNA include all the instructions for our cells to develop from embryo to adult and keeping our bodies running. These genes each give an instruction to create a particular protein which perform all the tasks in our cells and allow them to work together in larger structures of the organs. In Sri's case, it gives the instructions for a protein called SOX9 which is released in the precision burst to tip the gonads into developing as testes. Quote, in the mouse, we know it only acts for a few hours. It's a pathetic little gene. It wakes up, gives an order, and goes back to sleep. One couldn't argue it's a typical male. <laughs> Enhancer 13 is part of the 98% of the DNA which does not contain any protein coding genes, but despite being 500,000 letters away on the DNA instruction manual, it triggers precisely alongside Shri to boost levels of SOX9. And there's a, an embedded video here you can watch as well. Although multiple enhancer areas usually work in tandem, no one single one having much effect. Experimental mice with only the enhancer 13 section of their DNA experience sex reversal from male to female. I'll uh, leave the link below, you can read the rest of the article.